Today, we're going to turn these into these. This is exactly the project for you. Do you need help with your Easter eggs? We'll dye them all kinds of pretty colors. Let's do it. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, there's blue. And let's see. Oh, pink. And green. There's a green one. Oh, your Easter eggs are beautiful. I've made this little rack right here for drying my eggs on. It's very convenient. I use these straws, they're from the ice cream section. You could just cut them at a little angle like that so it's kind of sharp. And then you push it into styrofoam, like these are in here. And it's great for drying the eggs. I can dry them like this um, after I've cut the hole in them, or I can dry them also after I dip them in the coloring, so it's very convenient. I'm going to walk through the process of cutting the hole in the bottom of the egg. I've mixed up some cake mix. Uh, we could use a box or you could find a recipe. The main thing is that it, you start with a kind of a blank canvas here so that you could put your colors in it. It's gonna be a very colorful cake. So now I'm going to put my colors in here. Cake decorating bags will make this project easier. So I'm gonna show you how I started with this. I got my bag and I put it inside of a cut and then I bent it over the edges. This will give us some support for when we try to pour the stuff in. Um, so then I took my bowl that had my batter in it and I just poured it in there. So this is very, very helpful. You can also use this for if you're putting frosting inside of a bag. So that is how I accomplished getting the cake batter that's colored inside of my bags. I also tied it up. If you have a little hair tie or something like that, you can tie the end and that way it stays in there much easier. We're going to make a little nest in here that you can set your egg inside of. Just taking this tin foil, a little piece of tin foil. I can set my egg in here just to make sure it fits. And that way it's not gonna fall all over the place. Cooking spray is going to help our cake not to stick to the inside of our egg. And now we have regular cooking oil. We're going to put it all over this. It will help it be nice and beautiful and shiny and it will help the cake not to stick to it. Now I'm ready to put my cake inside. I can make some choices about which colors I want. And now remember, less is more with this. We definitely do not want to fill this all the way up because when it bakes, you will find that it will come bubbling out the top. So it, about halfway is fine when it comes to how full to make it. I'm just putting the colors in one at a time, just a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. And we're just gonna do layers and layers of this because then it will have these beautiful stripes. But just remember, do not overfill it. I'm thinking for this halfway full, the best thing for you to do is to take one and test it first when you go to cook cook one of them and that way you can get an idea of uh, how far to fill it up. So these are out of the oven and they're looking good. I can test them by using my little cool doodad. You just poke it inside of here. And when it comes out, if it's clean, they're done. And if it's all gross, they need to go back in there. Um, one thing that I wanted to show you is that most of these are ones where I filled it halfway. So it actually didn't come out when it cooked. It just rose up really nice. Um, a couple of them I filled a little bit more than that because I wanted to shoot you to see what that looks like. If the batter comes out, that's okay. That's not a big deal. I'm going to show you what to do with it, but first let me show you how to get these out of here. They're going to be hot 
and so I have a towel um, if this doesn't work for you you can find some other way but you can just very gently pull them out of here and put them onto a towel to cool I'm going to now clean this off and so it just comes right off and because it's nice and cool it will just slide away it helps that we put all that cooking oil all over it because it's not sticking at all. And then if you do feel like some of it's stuck on there, you can very gently use a, a damp cloth to, to clean it a little bit. But I don't want to do this too much because some of the dye will come off. But don't worry about this area because guess what? It goes like this into your basket and then it will look all pretty. This is the exciting part because I get to actually open my egg. This is the part that we've all been waiting for. Oh, look at that. That is so magical. Now I'm going to try cutting it and see how the inside looks. It's so rewarding doing this. You can see the inside. Wow. <laughs> and every one of these eggs is different. That's awesome. This is a very worthwhile project. And an orange one. Look at that, an orange one. And a pink speckled one, and a yellow orange one. Wait, how many um, eggs did you put in that little bowl? I don't know. <laughs> there seems to be quite a few. I think she likes the table. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Whoops. Just <laughs> 